Hey guys, Keith here with the Bobcat Guy, and I wanted to do a video on how to properly secure down a Bobcat on a trailer. So come with us, and we'll show you how we get it done. Okay guys, so one thing you want to do is you want to hook a chain on each corner of the bobcat and suck it back at an angle. And what that does, it gives you a four point for to uh, to chain it down. So you're pulling on all four corners. And if you look at your equipment, doesn't matter what it is, bobcat, mini hoe, whatever, you'll see little stickers on it where it shows you you can chain it down. And on this one here, it's right there the mic is pointed. And I'll come up to the front. And I'll show that other little label right here. So that's where we stick it there and then we'll pull this slightly forward and out. And by doing this on each corner, you're getting the best control and the DOT will stay off your back on uh, having it secured to the trailer. The other thing you want to look at is the size of chain and boomers you're using for the size of your equipment. Smaller bobcats, you can get away with smaller chains and boomers, but make sure you check the specs on your chains and your spec on your equipment you're trying to chain down. And as you can see, we got one side done here. And we're pulling it forward and Mike's sucking it down. You'll see the tires going down. Now this thing won't move on the deck. Um, if we end up rolling this in the ditch, it won't matter anyways, but uh, regular safety, this is what you want to do. And you just do the exact same thing on the other side. So that's all I have on this video on how to secure a Bobcat. I appreciate you guys coming out. Um, I'd like to thank all my new and old subscribers. And I also want to give a shout out to Channel 33 with Spongy. He was the guy that helped me film all these videos today. Um, they'll be all coming out on different, different uh, dates. But I'll have his uh, channel at the end of all these videos. You guys can check him out. He's a great friend and he does a lot of help around the house towards helping me film and it's nice having an extra guy around that does this that's a little more professional than me.